Standing behind the hammock on the plumb line in a, using a push grip or an overhand grip. Take a hinge from the hips, reaching forward. Rounding the spine, pulling the middle of the back up to the ceiling, chin to chest, rolling up to a cat stretch. And rolling back down to a flat back, bending the knees, arching the back, coming into cow. Continue pressing down on the hammock, keeping the hammock at tension. Bring your palms flat towards the ground as you bend your elbows, pulling the hammock behind your head as if you're shaving the back of your head, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then extending the arms. Bend those elbows, put, pull the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades, extend. Pull one more time, pulling back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then extending the arms. From here, begin to roll back up into a nice deep cat stretch all the way till you're standing tall. Keeping that tension on the hammock, reaching the arms forward, feet together. Hinge from the hips and at the same time, begin to lift that right leg behind you as if you're a seesaw or a lever. Keeping those hip points pointing down to the ground, your knee pointing down to the ground, flexing that right foot so that the toes are pointing down. As you press back down on that hammock, you bring the foot back to the ground. So we're hinging at the hip, coming into a lever, pressing down, bringing that foot down at the same time in one motion, one plane, one angle. Holding here, rising up to the ball of that left foot and lowering. So lifting and lowering the heel for some calf raises, or you can keep that foot flat on the ground if you don't wish to do the calf, ra calf raises. Lift and lower. Keep pressing down on that hammock as you swing that right leg forward, one big step. Both legs remain straight here as you hinge from the hips, arms are reaching, lengthening, engaged, hinging forward in a pyramid leg pose. Feeling that stretch deep in the back of the legs. Keep pressing down, keep the hips pointing forward as you just twist over to the right. Tension is important here, hold here. Return back to center. Keep pressing on the hammock as you bend that right leg, coming into a lunge. And then straighten the legs, hinging at the hips. Bend that right knee, coming into a lunge. Keep pressing down on the hammock as you straighten that leg hinge from the hips. Take another bend of that knee for that lunge, pressing into the hammock, pushing off the floor. You're gonna use your biceps, bend the elbows, push off that floor, bring that knee high as you can up to the hammock. Holding here. And then we're gonna pulse that leg up and down, bringing that thigh high up towards that hammock, keeping the elbows in at your sides. Keep pulling the hammock at tension. Lift and lower that leg. Both feet together, we're gonna to hinge from the hips again to that right angle or that half dog. As we begin to lift that left leg behind us, coming back to that warrior three position. The arms are active, pressing down in that hammock, that left foot is flexed, heels pressing to the back of the room, making that seesaw-like motion. As we rise up, that leg comes down, and then we hinge again. Pressing down on that hammock, keeping as much tension as you can, as much control as you can. Lifting, reaching, and then lowering. Keeping your core nice and tight is going to help you with balance. Keeping your hammock tight is going to keep the hammock stable and you stable as well. Lift, reach. Extend. Rise up to the ball of that foot for those calf raises. Just lifting and lowering that heel. Lift and lower. If you're struggling to find balance here, you can keep that foot flat on the ground. You're still working, squeezing those glutes. Bringing that left leg all the way forward for that big giant step. And then hinging from the hips, reaching the arms, coming into that pyramid pose.
Keep pressing down on the hammock as you sweep your arms towards the left. The legs stay straight, the feet don't move. Then we'll return back to center. We're gonna bend that left knee, coming to a lunge, dropping the hips, feeling that stretch in the quad on the right and hip flexor. You feel that glute also firing. Straighten those legs, pyramid. Bend that knee for the lunge. Continue pressing down on the hammock, keeping control. Core still stays engaged. We'll stay engaged for the majority of this class. Now, pushing off that floor, pulling down the hammock, bring that quad up high to the hammock. Pulling down with the arms, elbows stay in. We're lifting and lowering. Foot is flexed, we're pulling that thigh up to the hammock. And bring both feet together. Come back to that right angle, that hinge from the hip, or that half dog, as we like to call it sometimes. Feet are together, belly is in. We roll back up to another nice big cat stretch all the way to the top. From here, we slide our hands out wide and bring that hammock behind us. So the hammock is behind the back. You're in front and your feet are on the plumb line. Just going to trust and lean back, letting that hammock catch underneath the shoulder blades. Your core is engaged here again as well and your body is in one straight line with the hips pressing forward. We're gonna inhale those arms up and back, reaching, keeping a neutral spine, we're going to drop that right arm in front as if we're reaching our right hand over towards our left hip bone. And then we're going to hinge from the hips. As we bring that left arm over to the right side, hips are going to start leaning towards that left side. And then reverse, pinwheel those arms, same thing, other side. Reach, lengthening that whole side body. And we'll do that one more time on each side. Really creating as much length as you can in the side body. Keeping tension in the hammock at the back, reach both arms back. One long line from the toes to the fingers. We're gonna bring the palms together. So you're keeping the tension in the hammock, hammock under the shoulder blades. Chest is lifted. We're gonna bend those elbows as we bring our thumbs to the third eye, bending the knees. Keep the tension in the hammock. Reach those arms back to straighten the legs as we come all the way back into that mountain prayer and our third eye prayers when we bend those knees. Reach, lengthen, extend, bend the knees, elbows are wide. You're really leaning back into the hammock, keeping that tension with that chest lifted. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, thumbs to the third eye. Inhale, reach back. Sweeping the arms out to the side, keeping the feet in the same position, not moving the feet. Dropping the hips, going with the flow, all the way forward to a forward leaning T. The hammock is wrapped at tension around the back, under the arm, inhale back. Lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the hips. We swing all the way forward. Getting that deep tissue massage, that lymphatic massage. Inhale back. Exhale, drop the hips, swing it forward. Just. Find a little flow here. We're gonna keep alternate bending the knees so we're stretching out the calves and the ankles. Bending one knee, alternating to the other side. And then inhale all the way back again, reaching those arms up, hands to the hammock. From here, lift the toes, heels are on the ground. So we're gonna keep our core engaged. We'll keep leaning in the hammock. Hips are pointing forward, we lift the toes, and then we're gonna turn the toes out. We want our heels to be together and we want our heels touching. All of the toes are on the ground. We're gonna straighten those legs and then bend the knees, so like little plies. Bend the knees, keep the heels down so we're getting that nice stretch. Bend the knees and extend the legs, keeping that hammock tight at all times that tension, and then keeping both heels down, you're just gonna rock to the left, a very slight bend of the left knee. 
And then you're going to rock to the right, a slight bend to the right knee, keeping the heels and toes down as best as you can. That's going to give you a nice stretch in that, those Achilles tendons in the back of the ankle there. Going side to side, hearing that popping and cracking that we typically hear in our ankles. As we stretch and lubricate those joints side to side, rocking as much as you as you want. And then we're gonna bring those feet out wide. So the heels are about at the edge of your mat or just outside of the mat. Toes are on a 45 degree angle. Core is still engaged, hips are pressing forward. So those two hip bones are still pointing towards the mirror. They're gonna to begin to go into our little gyro. So we're gonna to rock to the left and then back and over to the right. And we're gonna do that again, rock to the right and the left side to side, and we're gonna take it all the way around. As you take it all the way around, those hip points stay pointing forward. So you're not twisting the body in any way. As long as you keep those hips pointing forward, you're gonna push yourself all the way forward onto the toes, big circles. If you find that your knees are touching the ground, that means that hammock is too high on the back. You wanna keep it underneath the shoulder blades, and it's more about leaning back, lifting the chest, than it is holding on, although you are holding on. That hammock should stay tight underneath those shoulder blades. Coming back to center, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So readjust your hammock if it's slid up. Keep those hip points pointing forward. Keep holding on. Chest stays lifted. Bend that left knee, rocking in a big circle. Now we're going counterclockwise, pushing our hips forward onto the toes. Just think of driving those hips straight to the front of the room, onto the toes. Lubricating those knees and those hips. You can move faster or slower, moving at your own pace, whatever feels good. Then we'll return back to center. We're gonna turn the toes in now, so heels are out, toes are in. We're gonna bend the knees, just rocking forward and back. As you press back, lift the toes. Drop the toes, bend the knees, shift forward. Stretching more of the outside edges of the ankles and the front of the ankles here. Now walk those heels in, bend the knees again for another plie, and extend, and then walk those toes forward so feet are side by side. We're gonna body roll, pulling down on the hammock, hips come forward first, then chest, then head. Swing the hammock around in front of you here. So we're gonna use an inward roll grip. So your arms are going to come in between the hammock, your forearms inside, and you're gonna press down with the forearms as you slide your arms just about a little wider than your shoulders. You're gonna dip your hands down in front of the hammock, back up and through the hammock, and you're gonna show me your palms, so place your, let your palms face forward. From here, you're gonna turn your hands in so that your palms grip the hammock, thumb on the same side as your body, fingers wrap around the top. So you're gonna bring the arms through the center, forearms press down, slide the arms wide, drop the hands down underneath the hammock, back up through the hammock, showing your palms forward, and then turn your hands in so that your palms are gripping the hammock on both sides and you've got rolls of the fabric um, in your hands. From here, you wanna keep pressing down on the hammock, so the further forward you are, the more, uh, the less challenging it will be. And the further back you stand, the more challenging it will be. You're gonna keep those elbows hugging your rib cage in by your sides. Your palms are flat, your hands are gripping that hammock. And you're keeping your body in a diagonal plank, so core is engaged, you're leaning forward, you're pushing your body away from the hammock. So keeping those elbows in, pushing away. The only thing that moves is your body moves away from the hammock. So this is working the triceps here. We're pressing our body back. Don't let that back arch. If it's arching, you're not strength, keeping that core tight enough, maybe step forward so it's a little bit less challenging until you work up to that. So you can always work up to going backwards. You're just going to push off, keeping those elbows, and you should feel your triceps working pretty hard here pushing back. We're gonna release that grip from the hammock. And we're gonna reach the arms around the front and up, grabbing hold 
and then sliding the hands down. That's your overhand grip. So arms reach out to the side with the hammock in front of you. You bend your elbows, bringing the hands to the inside of the hammock, and then you grab the hammock on both sides. From here, we're gonna keep those elbows drawing into the body, core engaged, and we're gonna drop back to an angle here. You're holding that hammock nice and tight. As you pull your chest up to the hammock, you're going to think of squeezing those shoulder blades together. So your shoulders are not coming up by your ears. You're dropping back, arms are straight, and you're pulling your chest towards the hammock. So same thing applies here. The further forward you step in this one is gonna be more challenging. So there's more of your body weight that you're pulling up. The further back you step forward in this one, the less body weight you have. So the easier it will feel. So you just work at your own pace. You can always walk forward if it's not enough, walk back if it's too much and just decide. We'll reach the arms forward from here, coming to another right angle. We're pressing down on the hammock. The arms are active, belly's in, feet are together. And we're gonna lift that right leg behind us again. But this time, instead of keeping the hips square to the ground, we're gonna stack our hips. So really pulling down on that hammock, keeping it nice and tight, really engaging that core. You're gonna open and stack that hip. So your hips are facing more towards the right side now, whereas before they were facing um, straight down to the ground. Flexing that foot, you're gonna bend that right knee keeping that leg parallel to the floor. Then you're gonna keep the knee bent, just bring that knee forward towards the front of the room. Foot is flexed, you're kicking it back, keeping the knee bent, reaching over, and then pulling that knee forward towards the front of the room. Hip is stacked and open. Now as you bring that knee forward towards the front of the room, you're gonna extend the leg straight out to the side. This is your half box. And we're gonna pulse up and down, just short little pulses for five. And then we're gonna cross that right leg in front of the left leg and hinge from the hips. Press down on the hammock to roll up and just bring those feet side by side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. As you hinge forward from the hips, hips stacked over that knees and those ankles, Belly's in, arms are active, you're pulling on the hammock and lifting that left leg. Foot is flexed. We start with the hip points facing down and then as we're pulling down the hammock, finding that balance, we're gonna open the hip, stacking that left hip over the right and then keeping that foot flexed, we're gonna bend that left knee to bring that foot behind us. And keeping that knee bent and that Leg lifted, we're gonna bring that left knee forward towards the front of the room and then back behind us. Forward and back. Kicking that leg back. Try to keep that leg as parallel to the floor as possible. And then we're extending that leg out to the side, coming to half box and taking our five pulses and then crossing that left leg now in front of the right and hinging forward. Doing that nice deep stretch. Pressing down to begin to roll up. We're gonna bring that those legs side by side, feet together. Now, we're gonna bring that right leg behind the left leg, coming into a curtsy, so you're on the ball of that right foot, that right leg comes behind you, crosses behind on the ball of that right foot. Shoulders are squared off to the mirror, arms are active and straight, you're pressing down on the hammock, and we're gonna hold that curtsy and then begin to pulse up and down. Shoulders are facing forward. Right leg is crossed behind the left and you're on the ball of the right foot and your left foot is flat as you pulse. Bring those feet side by side. Other side. Now that left leg is gonna cross diagonally behind the right, arms, are uh, facing forward, shoulders forward. We're pulling down on that hammock, pressing to keep that tension, and we're coming to that curtsy to hold. Pulsing. 
up and down, lift and lower. Keep pressing down on that hammock. Keep that tension of the hammock. Keep those shoulders facing forward. Just bringing that knee lower to the floor, up and down. Just pulsing up and down. And then bringing those feet together side by side. Bring that hammock behind the back. So flip it over the back behind you. Turn around to face your hammock and find that very little edge. Make sure you're finding the edge of your hammock. You're not grabbing onto any folded part of the fabric. Once that hammock is open, you're gonna to turn to face the front and you're going to put your thumbs inside. So just the thumbs, you're gonna reach back, place one thumb in and then the other. The other fingers are outside of the hammock. Those are gonna be the fingers you use to take your gathers or your handfuls. You're gonna press down with the thumbs, creating that tension, sliding those thumbs a little wider than your hips. Make sure they're just outside of your hips so you don't sit on them. Take a step forward and then use those fingers. We're gonna gather the fabric into our palm six or seven times. So just keep gathering until you get six or seven handfuls in. And once you get those six or seven handfuls in your hand, you're going to rise up. You're going to step back to your plumb line right underneath the center. You're going to bring those elbows inside of the hammock, bringing those elbows inside. Heels of the hands are in, elbows are in. You're pressing the shoulders back and down pressing those shoulders down towards the floor, squeezing those shoulder blades, rising onto the balls of the feet. Keep pressing down on that hammock. As you're pressing down, you're going to lift a knee and place that side of your butt in first and then the other side in, pulling the hammock to the back of the knees, all the way to the back of the knees and then bringing the arms around the back of the hammock. From here, I'm gonna show you how to get in the inversion first. If you wanna watch, if you haven't done this before, just go ahead and watch, and then I'll walk you through it again. Hands are gonna reach up high. Think of high-fiving the back of your hammock with the thumbs on the inside edge where you feel that tension sliding the thumbs down. So the hammock is between your thumb and your index finger. You're pull, pr sliding those thumbs down towards the hip bones. Once those thumbs come to the hip bones, you're gonna turn the inside of your wrist towards the front of your room so that you're using the heels of your hands. Shoulders are back and down. Elbows are squeezing towards each other behind you. Heels of the hands are pressing down into the fabric to hold that tension. We're getting that hammock at the sacrum, right underneath the hip bones, right above the um, tailbone and not on the lower back. As you're keeping tension in the hammock, you're gonna engage those abdominal muscles, really pull the belly into the spine as you begin to round. It's a concave stretch, rounding back. Moving your body weight back just enough so that the weight of the body will help you hold that edge and it won't slide up. You'll take the heel of a foot, you'll kick it into the fabric and use that heel of your foot to pull the hammock all the way down to the ankle and then taking the ankles, I mean the heels out. So your hammock is from the ankles all the way up the leg, up the thigh to your sacrum. As you're pressing down with the legs, externally rotate the legs so that you can press down evenly with both legs straddling into a big wide circle and then bending the knees, bringing the feet to the, around the hammock to the same side of your face and hooking the toes behind in a, in a uh, flat with flexed feet. So you're flexing your feet behind the hammock. So you're wrapped in the back of the hammock, around the front of the hammock, and your toes are hooked behind. From there, you can release the hands, keeping a neutral spine, so uh, pubic bone in line with the rib cage, letting those knees fall open nice and wide, not squeezing them. That will release some of the pressure. Your head is hanging heavy, your neck is relaxed, your arms are out to the side, and we are not going to push on the floor. You do not want to push on the floor. Arms are just out and back of the hands resting. Now, as we're coming up, you wanna look in the direction you are going. So you're gonna look up towards your feet or towards your navel, chin to chest. You're gonna grab the fabric on the inside, the one closest to the knee, and you're gonna straddle wide, making a big wide circle back to center, leaving your arms behind you and folding forward. Hammock should still be behind the knees. Your shoulders will stay in that way. So let's do it together. Reaching the hands up high, high five the back of your hammock, 
thumbs are on the inside of the hammock. You feel that tension between the thumb and your index finger as you begin to slide those hands back. Maybe arching the back a little bit here as the thumbs come toward the hip bones. Slightly leaning forward, getting those thumbs down by those hip bones, bringing those elbows back, pressing the shoulders down, keeping that tension, and then engaging the abdominals as you begin to concave back, rounding the back. That rounding of the back is gonna give you that ability and the abdominals are gonna give you the ability to hold here. So as you're pressing down with the heels of the hands and you're rounding the back, lowering back, coming into a lever, allowing your body to be low enough so that that fabric stays where we want it placed. And from there, take the heel of a foot and you're gonna place just one heel of your foot into the edge and then use that heel of your foot to push the fabric down the leg, taking the ankle or the heels of the feet out. Those heels have to be out. You do not want your heels of your feet inside the hammock. You're pressing down with both ankles. Point the toes and then externally rotate the legs so that when you press down, you can bring those legs nice and wide pressing down, straddling those legs wide, keeping the tension on the hammock. Legs come around from the front to the back of the hammock and we hook those toes, flex those feet around the hammock. If you're not ready to let go, you can stay holding on. You'll still get a little bit of an inversion here with your head lower than your heart. But if you can safely release the hands, do not push on the floor, so always bring the arms out as wide as you can. Allow the back of the arms to, the back of the hands to rest on the floor and let those knees fall open nice and wide. As you're hanging here, just see if you can become a little bit more relaxed. Use your breath, breathing in and out, letting the head hang heavy. Feel that spine decompressing, that space being opened in between each vertebrae, hydrating those discs. All that blood rushing to the face and the head is gonna feel a little bit unusual if you're not used to this. A Little bit of pressure sometimes in the beginning, you will get used to it and enjoy it. So arms are out to the side, back of the hands are on the floor, your head is heavy, maybe give your head a little shake, yes and no. If you're squeezing those knees towards each other, you're gonna feel a lot of pressure on the inner thighs. So just let those knees fall open wide. You're safe here. You're wrapped around the back. You're trapped in the front. Your feet are flexed behind the hammock. So try to relax. The more relaxed you can be, the more you will um, benefit from this inversion. Lifting the arms out to the sides and then reaching those arms straight behind you, you're gonna interlace the fingers. So monitor your resistance here. Your shoulders may not be as flexible as some of the people in this um, video. So just as you interlace those fingers and extend the arms behind you, just go to where you feel most comfortable, where you feel a stretch for your body. Meet yourself where you are today and breathe. You're opening up that chest and the shoulders, maybe squeezing those shoulder blades a little bit closer together, drawing them together. Letting your chest expand and open even more. You may even want to arch the back, look down at your mat to deepen the stretch a bit, and then release those hands back. The hands can go back on the floor. We're gonna begin to move ourselves forward. So you're going to place the palms flat underneath those shoulders, flat on the mat, shoulders over wrists, and begin to walk forward. So we're, we're just walking our hands forward like a wheelbarrow, walking as far forward to the front of your mat or the front of the room as you can, keeping those hands shoulder width distance apart. Once those shoulders come over the wrists, as you pull your weight forward over the wrists, you can press down into the mat there only. Pressing the hips down, lifting those hips, trying to, as if you were trying to stack those hips over the shoulders, they may or may not get that far, depending on where you've walked your hands. And then leaving the hands where they are, letting the hips drop back, and letting the head fall between the elbows so your hands are further away from your body towards the front of the room. You can walk those hands a little bit further if your shoulders um, need a little bit more space. You can walk them out a little bit further out to the side, just letting the head drop through and then just bending a little, twisting a little at the waist, just little twists, swaying side to side, just stretching those side abdominals, those obliques, 
Just feeling that little bit of stretch on each side of the body. And then from there, if you lift your arms, you'll just float right back under the plumb line where we started. Head is still heavy, neck is relaxed. Letting those hands drop back down to the ground, just taking a few breaths. And now we're going to do a little pendulum swing. So with the feet still flexed behind the hammock, you're just going to straighten one leg at a time and then bending that knee, straightening the opposite leg. And with those arms off the ground, you'll notice you'll just start to swing side to side. You'll notice the leg muscles are working pretty hard here. So your legs are going to get a bit tired. We're working those legs while getting our inversion in. And anytime you want to stop, just discontinue sliding those feet up and down and you will come to a stop. But when you're doing these sways, you want to just still let your body be heavy. Let gravity do all the work for you. And when you come to a stop, just bring those hands back down to the ground. Take a breath or two. And coming up, remember, your gaze sends you the direction you want to go. So look towards your navel, look towards your feet. Chin comes to your chest. Use those abdominals to reach up, grab that fabric on both sides. Make sure you've got a good grip on both sides before you unhook the feet. Straddling the white legs wide, keeping that tension, and then bending the knees, keeping the arms behind you with that fabric to the knee. So as you fold forward and drop the head, those shoulders will stay in and keep you there so you don't fall forward. Shaking out the legs, rolling the ankles, wiggling the toes, just feeling that blood rush back to the feet. Give yourself a moment. Sometimes we can get a little dizzy here, nauseous. So we want to stop in this position as a resting place. So stay here as long as you need to. Let's wiggle those feet, shake it out. And when you are ready to come up, don't just pull yourself up. Press the back of the legs down into the hammock. So really push, put that tension in the hammock with the back of the legs, those hamstrings, and roll up slowly. So engage the core, belly into the spine. You're rounding your way up slowly, and you're going to allow that head to come up last. Nice and slow, all the way up. And so you're back in that seated position. If you find you're dizzy, still a little dizzy here, um, you can fold back over again until you feel that you're ready. From here, we're going to reach the arms around the outside of the hammock, and we're going to grab the edge in front, the edge closest to our knees. We're going to lean back and scissor the legs, scissor or bicycle the legs, whatever makes most sense to you, whatever is easier for you. We're getting that hammock edge all the way up to the crease underneath our backside. So pulling that hammock up to the crease. Once you get the hammock to the crease, we're going to sit back up, leave that hammock there, feet together, knees together, feet down towards the ground. Reaching those hands up along that back side edge, we're grabbing like a rope on both sides. So both sides of the hammock is completely in our hands, and we're going to slide our hands down once again. Thumbs are going to come towards those hip bones, but just above here. We're wrapping both hands around, and then we're going to pull those elbows towards the midline of the body behind us holding on nice and tight. We're going to really engage those abdominals and come back to a lever. So your head is not going to go any lower than your backside. We're just coming to a lever, one straight little plank. From that lever, we're going to bring the knees towards the center of the hammock and the chest. So the knees and the chest are going to meet in the center, and then we're going to extend the legs back out as we lean back into that plank. Knees come in to the chest and out, in and out, reaching those legs towards the front of the room, crunching in and out. So you can go fast here if you want to just pound them out, or you can go really slow and controlled. Make sure that head is not going any lower than your backside. We're not going into an inversion here. We are not prepared for that. Our legs are not in the right position. We're not wrapped correctly. So we're just going in and out, just working those abdominals getting that ab workout. 
at any point you need to come up if you're tired need a break you're just going to um, sit all the way up and pull the hammock to the back of the knees if you want to bicycle here you can bicycle the legs and then we pull that hammock to the back of the knees leave the hands behind us and fold back into that resting pose again rising up we're going to reach those arms up high grab the hammock and we're going to wiggle our way out bringing our feet right back down to the mat leaving that hammock behind so our backside's gone it's not in that hammock anymore and we're going to drop our hands standing right in front of our hammock and bring those arms up to the ceiling and back behind you so you're going to have the hammock each side is going to be in front of the shoulders and the hammock is going to wrap around the back. So you should see that hammock in front of each shoulder. And you're going to bring those elbows in towards the body and bend them. Make fists with both hands, keeping those elbows hugging the body and walk forward. Stepping one foot forward. You're opening up the chest and shoulders here, pressing your hips forward. So the more you press those hips forward, the more you're going to feel that stretch. Make sure that hammock is caught in the crease of those inner elbows. Bring your hips back as you switch feet. Once you bring that other foot forward, you can bend that knee if that feels comfortable, if that's acceptable for the flexibility in your, of your shoulders, dropping those hips. We're stretching that whole chest and shoulders. And we'll step back, walking back, and then rising up slowly, bringing those hands back around the front now just step back to your hammock where the hammock is hanging naturally. So right from that plumb line, step back, take one big step. So your legs are the perfect size step for you. So take one big step forward in front of your hammock, away from that hammock, lift that left arm up to the ceiling, straight up. Balancing on that left leg, we're gonna bend the right knee and that right hand is gonna grip that right ankle as you hinge forward, propping that right top of the right ankle into the hammock. So that ankle rests in the hammock, flex that foot, keep tension in the hammock by pressing that top of the ankle into that hammock. Keep your knee so that that right knee is bent, that right ankle's in. That knee, we wanna make sure you keep that right knee in the line with your hip. Reach the arms up so that your palms are facing up towards the ceiling and then let the hammock catch between your thumb and your index finger with your palms face up to the ceiling. That's our reverse grip. We're doing that with both hands on both sides to grab hold of that fabric. And once you get a hold of that fabric, you're just gonna take a hop back so that you're centered underneath the plumb line. While you are centered underneath the plumb line, you're in that reverse grip, elbows are facing forward. We wanna shift our weight backwards. So this is gonna be a nice deep stretch of the quad and the hip flexor. So listen to your body. That knee stays in line with your hip. It does not go out to the side. And just shift your weight back just to where you feel that nice deep stretch. Keep your foot flex that's in the hammock. Shifting back. So the standing leg can be straight or you can bend that knee and go a little bit deeper. So you wanna make sure you're shifting your weight back. Just enjoying that stretch. If you bend that knee, you end up going a little bit deeper. If you find that's not suitable, just straighten that leg, rise up or shift your weight forward a little bit more. So we're not, we wanna make sure we're not shifting our weight forward when we're in this. We wanna be shifting our weight back. Keep breathing. So we're lengthening the muscles in the front of that leg. We want to shorten them. So we're going to bring, bring that knee forward, shorten the muscle, and then shift your weight back to lengthen. Pull that knee forward, shorten that muscle, and then take it back. Now looking down at your foot, make sure that that standing leg, that knee is not going past your toes. It should be either over the heel of the foot or over the center of the foot. 
If you find your knee is past your toes, you need to shift back some more. When you're ready, we're gonna release the hands, reaching forward and down, planting those palms on the mat, shoulders stacked over those wrists, bringing that left knee directly under the hip down to the ground. Your right ankle is still inside the hammock. The top of the ankle is resting, that right foot is flexed. It's like a little hook hooking that hammock in there, of oh, that foot in the hammock. With the shoulders stacked over the wrists, pushing the floor away, straighten that right leg behind you. You're balancing your weight between your right arm and your left knee that's on the ground. That left arm is gonna reach towards the front of the room, making that body nice and long. So reaching that those left fingertips all the way to the front of the room as you're reaching that right leg behind you towards the back of the room. Your core is engaged here. Bringing that left hand back down to the ground. Just shift your weight back, coming into a child var pose variation. Dropping the head, maybe bringing that forehead to the mat. Dropping the chest, getting a stretch here while we're resting. Maybe pressing the third eye, the center of your forehead to the mat, maybe just rolling side to side, giving that third eye a massage. Then coming back up, those shoulders are gonna be over the wrists. We're pushing into the floor. Shoulders stay away from the ears. We're gonna take some cat and cows here. So the knee on the ground, he's got that left knee on the ground, that right knee is bent and stays bent. As we inhale, we lift the chest, lift the chin. As we exhale, we round the spine, pulling the center of the back or the middle of the back up towards the ceiling as high, pressing it up as high as you can in that cat stretch. And coming to a right angle here or a um, flat back. We're gonna tuck the left toes under and press back into our three-leg dog. Even weight in the hands, pressing back. And now we're going to roll up onto the ball, that left foot, as we do round the spine, coming forward, shoulders just over those wrists, and then rocking back, dropping the heel. Rise to the ball of the foot, lifting that heel, shifting the weight forward, and then pressing back, dropping that heel. Rise up on the ball of the foot, shift the weight forward. Hold that here. Lifting and lowering, so we're really engaging the muscles in the right leg, pressing down, keeping that right ankle in the hammock, and we're lifting and lowering that left leg. This is just an option. You can leave that leg down on the ground and just take a three-leg plank. Then placing that ankle in the hammock, we're gonna switch feet. So now we're bringing that right knee down to the ground and we're coming to that child pose variation, dropping the forehead to the mat. That left leg is now hooked in the hammock and that knee should be bent and relaxed. It can be straight, but try bending the knee, seeing what feels better for you. Just taking a few breaths here. And then we lift back up again. We set up our alignment, shoulders over wrists. We push the floor away, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. That right knee is down on the ground, inhaling, lifting the chest, arching the back a little for cow. Exhale, rounding, pulling that back up to the ceiling. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, really rounding, concaving. Inhale, lifting. Now, flat back here. Straighten that left leg, pushing the shoulders away from those ears, pushing into the floor with the hands. You're going to evenly balance your weight now between the left hand and the right knee. Extending that left leg behind, reaching that right arm forward, body nice and long, long line. Fingertips reach towards the front, toes reach towards the back and then place that right hand back down, coming back into your child pose variation, forehead to the mat, breathing, resting. Lifting the head, coming back to shoulders over wrists, straightening that left leg, tucking the right toes under, and then pressing back to your three-leg dog on the other side, shifting that weight to the heels so that right heel is driving down towards the ground. Breathing. 
breathing through, letting the head hang heavy. And rising up as we round the spine, shoulders over wrists, rocking forward and pressing back, driving that heel down to the ground, rising up, shifting forward and back. Shifting forward again, pulling that belly in nice and tight and lifting and lowering that leg or keeping that leg down on the ground and just keeping the core engaged, keeping the belly in, you doing that uh, three leg plank. And then we'll place that right knee back down to rest, back to our child pose, forehead back down to the mat. Rising back up, shoulders back over those wrists, pushing that floor away. We're going to straighten your left leg. Tuck your right toes under. Press back up to that three-leg dog and then really pull the belly in, rounding, rising to the ball of that foot and then lifting that right knee off the ground into your chest as high as you can. The more you round and lift those hips, the easier it is to bring that foot forward. So you're gonna step that foot forward in the center of the mat. You're gonna bend the leg in the hammock. So bend that knee. You're gonna to come to your fingertips looking straight ahead. And then from the fingertips, you're gonna bring that right hand to your thigh and then the left hand, lifting the chest a little higher, pressing into the thigh with those hands to rise all the way up and then coming to that reverse grip. Reaching the arms up, thumbs on the inside, palms face up to the ceiling. Hammock is going to go between that index finger and thumb, and you're going to hop back to make sure you're centered under the plumb line. Same thing applies on this side. That left knee stays in line with that left hip. It doesn't go out to the side. You're reaching up. You're shifting your weight back. Maybe starting with a straight leg as you shift your weight back. Maybe choosing to bend that knee and go a little deeper if your body is choosing that today. Chest is lifted. If you lean back a little more, you'll feel a deeper stretch in that left hip flexor, left quadriceps. Keep shifting your weight back. And shortening that muscle, bringing that knee forward and driving it back. Pulling that knee forward, rising to the ball of that right foot to help you pivot. You're gonna release the right hand and start to turn your shoulders and your hips towards that left side of the room, pivoting on the ball of that foot, turning it completely around and getting that ankle. So now the back of that ankle is going to be trapped in the hammock. Your hips stacked over your knee and ankle on that right side, your standing leg. Take a little hop if you're not centered. Shoulders are squared to the back of the room. You're sliding your hands down, keeping your elbows in and just hinging from the hip. So I am just hinging from my hip here, shifting forward. It's a really lovely stretch you'll see in this video some people decide to lean forward a little bit more shifting their weight forward that's up to you um, but really all you need to do is hinge and don't worry about how low you go just go to where you find the edge of your stretch and then sliding those hands up higher keeping that ankle in the hammock we're gonna flex keep that left foot flexed and you're externally rotating. So the ankle is in the hammock, your foot is flexed, and you're bending that left knee, bringing that left heel towards your right thigh, but keeping it about a foot away from the thigh and just hinging here. You'll see, once again, some people are leaning forward. That's not necessary. Um, you just need to hinge from the hips, dropping the chest, but keeping a nice long spine. So just think of 
a long line from the hips through the spine to out the crown of the head. And then rising back up, we'll push the hammock away to keep the tension while the hammock stays in the ankle. Hands are gonna slide up high. You're holding on up high on the hammock, but we're not pulling up. We don't wanna pull our weight up, we wanna drop our weight. So hands are gripping, your hips are dropping, the ankle is keeping tension, that left leg stays straight, and we'll just test it out here. We'll just do a little rock forward. So just lift that right leg off the floor and then place it back as you, as you come back on that swing. So that's the motion we're doing. We're gonna switch feet. So same thing, you're holding on up high, you're letting your hips drop, shifting your weight back. The right leg goes in, the left leg comes out. So now your right ankle is trapped in the hammock. Hands are gonna slide down to about your chest. Elbows stay in, and then we're just going to hinge from the hip, getting that nice stretch in that uh, right hamstring. So your foot here can be flexed, or it can be pointed, or you can just let that foot relax, decide what feels good. It's such a good stretch. And then coming up, rising back up. We're flexing the foot. We're externally rotating, so the toes are with the toes up to the ceiling with the foot flexed. You're gonna let those toes turn towards the right, but we're doing it from the hip, not from the knee. We're opening up that knee, opening up that hip, and bringing that right heel about a foot away from that left thigh, and then hinging, keeping a long spine again. It's like a standing pigeon variation. Really nice hip opener, breathing into that hip. And then coming back up. We'll release that foot from the hammock. We'll find that edge. You have reached the end of the class today. So once again, open hammock, shake it out. We thank you so much for watching with us and uh, sharing this wonderful form of fitness, the aerial fitness. And we hope that you subscribe and like our channel so that you can be notified when we release more videos. We're trying to add more and more frequently to our channel. So we're gathering that fabric. We wanna be in the center of the fabric, so it's about six or seven handfuls. We're stepping back to the plumb line. We're bringing those elbows in. We're rising up to the balls of the feet. We're lifting a knee, scooting our butts into the hammock, Bring our hands behind us, finding that edge up high, and then opening up your wings here with enough fabric to support your head, lowering back one vertebra at a time, all the way back into the hammock, Laying back, make sure the head is inside and supported. And once you lay all the way back and your back is in the hammock, your head's in the hammock, then you can extend those arms behind you, use the heel of a foot, use it to push the fabric away so your whole body is inside. And with your arms behind, just bend the elbows, allowing the hands to drop towards the floor and 